Officer Thurston, can we have a few highlights of some of this amazing equipment here? Yeah. We, there's a very complicated setup going on. Huge amounts of Euro rack. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Voyager. So I usually use that Voyager for, for the bases. There's mm -hmm. another no, uh, Nova delay, uh, the, uh, the, the red one uh -huh. is in, uh, inside. Okay. Uh, Ah, yeah, yeah, and yeah, to, yeah, just to have the, the huge base uh, to move the stage a little bit. Then we have um, the eye boxes um, connected with lexicon. This is a, a quadraphonic lexicon. Oh yeah. So um, this goes to the first, second. So we have six different delays and uh, wow reverbs. <laughs> Maybe this is interesting, the tenor dream ratcheting. Ratcheting, yeah. It's not, so this is triggered, this is three, four, five, six. This is line number six, it's that line. So this has a note, okay, 14 against 16, yeah, and then half of it to make it easier to stretch. So then this goes. Um, to the um, CB gate, yeah. um, MIDI converter, and you, then you can. And the idea about, about ratcheting that you should uncouple the note and the gate. So this sequencer is um, sending CVs to this clock divider, and and I, 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 I'm, I'm um, dividing the clock through four now. Ah, yes. And so I'm doing the ratcheting. Was, was ratcheting a Tangerine Dream invention then? I think it's a secret thing. Yeah. Yeah. And this is um, the three oscillators and the uh, real life, uh, the live fire of uh, frequency liner. Uh -huh. And, oh, sorry. And, and the ball behind it. Sounds great. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. So, this, so we have um, ten lines from from here. We have yeah. Wow. So sometimes simple patches, sometimes a little more. That I have different lines triggered by, by the uh, Schlittmacher. This is step sequence from Germany by a brand called Mendic Electronics. They are also doing the Memotron. Oh, the same as the Memotron. Yeah. So I noticed the one over there. What, why is what's the one over there for? Um, for Hoshiko's gear. Ah, okay. Some, some um, she uses sometimes a mini tower only for um, for for uh, filter movements. Ah, okay. So pl plug one uh, several separate outputs for the violin and some some are just triggered to like a like a pattern of filter sequencing. And that and then does that get its clock from the ERM multi clock yeah. then? Yeah. yeah. So the so that acts as the, the main clock. Here. Yeah. That sense that's the clock. That's yeah, the boss clock. Yeah but she, she has a different uh, yeah one one's uh, another string. Um, so, so so Okay, this line is, is a Roland through a, uh, a Strymon a Magneto. Yeah. This, yeah. This has a very different different um, distortion. And this one is small. This. Yeah. Uh, and, and this is uh, midi clock, but I can do the half delays or the quarter days with that knob because it's another divider. You're not messing up your live set tonight just to show us. No, 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 that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 hopefully, I, I know what yeah. I'm doing. Um, this is um, four, four rings in a row. Four rings going uh, in a cloud. Yeah. And through the stereo filter. Filter. Yeah. So this is triggered by the last lines. This four lines are triggering four polyphonic. And then I have a clock triggering the filter on every one. So then I have the kind of ambient sound. Nice. Yeah. So then you you do everything then like you say like you do it everything in lines then. Yeah, it's better for live. That's yeah, better yeah. for live. Yeah. And, so that's and, and so these yeah. are connected um, with, with, with the network. 
cables, but yeah, let's just make it as easy as 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 could be with the Bundle with our system and on stage. So yes, hopefully no hand is doing so. I sort all your cable by color after the concert. I, I, I think it, it will. Yeah, it, it took probably eight hours. Wow, to patch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to like this. Right. Oof. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah, yeah. This is okay. This routers for for just the iPads to have your own internet to not not to have something from the house. Like everything is ah. yeah, and most things applies um, to to mixing rigs on Behringer um, the um, to have six single tracks. Yeah. I record um, every single track ah. each each night, especially with the with the with the improvisation being a, yeah. a real special yeah. one. Just just um, yeah, the mixer, mm -hmm. the second mixer. The other mixers here. Ah, using AUM, I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm using this for. Um, okay, um, I really like the Sempertron to have another Metrotron, another Metrotron. but a looped one. Um, I really like the, um, the piano sound as well. Uh, if we are. Um, have the feeling that it's okay to make half a minute of dance music. <laughs> I can turn. Oh, there's your kick. Yeah. You've got a kick. And here is um, strange samples. Um, okay, I'm used to do this with the left hand and then it works. Sorry. Um, um, this this time is uh, Werner Hartz Herzog, oh, yeah. the director, um, talking about um, the stupidity of chickens. <laughs> um, Catching me in the eye with great intensity. And the good thing is uh, that you can turn a little bit the bass up. That is looking back at you. Uh, it's just amazing. It's called Egoist. Um, this is the phrase that's uh, there. So even the words are all the rules sing. Oh, sing. And the one thing, okay, uh, just uh, the, the black hole. Okay, and uh, I have a, a thing called scatterbrain. Um, the Ableton is um, for for rain. Just to have rain sound. Yep. Um, That's not live from outside now. It is yeah. absolutely well. I've been throwing it down. Today. Um, okay, so so like you've got like rain for just like it's a background yeah, texture, uh, harbor sounds, and and the ah. sequencing for the um, um, synth box. This is triggering. Oh, yeah. This this is moving. This with that MIDI cable from from Apple. Okay. Yeah. Ah, right. Okay. So then, um, wow. So, uh, what time did you get into the venue today? Um, normally 10 o'clock. And then how long does it take you to set up? So we are fast now. Yeah. We started for three hours, now we are around 50 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, because everything is... Um, is okay, we have a, a little hint. So um, there's gaffer tape on every track that isn't needed. Ah, that is an amazing idea. So you just block off. Yeah, so there's... Block off everything. Yeah. Only stereo, yeah, media stereo out, and you have no chance to plug the thing. That is a hot tip. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that is a really yeah. good idea. Yeah. yeah, so just to eliminate the chance of plugging it yeah. in the wrong socket. Yeah. Just make some bass loops. Sorry. One thing I find is quite interesting with this setup is that um, that you you. you, you it, it's the mixture of the different types of technologies, Absolutely, yeah. you know, from computer, iPad, to virtual analog, to real analog, yeah. modular, yeah. hands-on sequences, iPads for, yeah. for, 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 the for mixing, mixing. Yeah. and uh, yeah, so really interesting, just every, like there's no snobbery, everything is fair, if it Absolutely. does the good job, yeah. if it yeah. does the right thing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, like that. That's good. So when you bring something new like the Strymon Star Lab in, then obviously it means other things have to Absolutely, yeah. make room for the new things. That's true. So I removed all the percussion stuff. I had a lot of um, the, the Erica synths samplers, but it's, um, I think it's not, this tool we don't use so much at the, um, drum sounds live. So okay. yeah. Um, so we're using some some very weird things on iPad on doing the sessions, but okay, we uh, yeah this 
miss them normally five minutes before the concert. <laughs> that's, that's funny. But it's, it, it's more fun to play sessions via the soundtrack with cheeky drum beats, yeah. <laughs> but not for the audience. So I've just had this little, little interesting thing here then. For each of these racks then, I noticed then using the Vimona XLR yeah. outputs for each of the rows. Yes, you have a die and you have volume coating. Vol yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's easy to have everything in one row, so you can just have. Yeah, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Really like that. It's a, I'm quite I'm inspired. I've just taken my first steps into performing live with modulo, you mm -hmm. see, and it's. I'm only using a fairly small thing, so this is inspiring for me. Yeah. Big ideas. <laughs> and, um, because I'm not a good entertainer, everything is white. <laughs> so the lighting guys and the visual guys can yeah. can, um, ah. can make uh, a new scene every track and make it look different. Oh, cause because yeah. I don't move so much, yeah. and, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not the guy uh, who, uh, how you feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we can and project so, onto yeah, them. Yeah, this is the only white case. Mm -hmm. This uh, is from Defoe White. Um, yeah. You so they become like, can, can you can project onto them. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Yeah.